everyone, my name is Sean, here from Obsessed Garage, bringing you another Obsessed Garage Academy video. Today we're gonna to be going over how to measure your garage effectively. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to draw a rough schematic, what to include, and what to measure for that schematic. When designing your garage, you need to make sure that you envision it before you start making design-related decisions. In the event that you don't have formal construction documents, we're gonna show you how you can create your own. All you're gonna need when you start measuring is a piece of paper, a pencil, a tape measure, and a friend if possible. A laser distance measure is also helpful. When you start measuring your space, you're going to want to measure the overall dimensions of the space as well as the ceiling height. If you have tray ceilings, you're going to want to make sure you locate them and use very precise measurements. It's also important to measure every wall in multiple places so that you get accurate measurements in case there are inconsistencies in the drywall. When measuring the space, you're going to want to make sure you note any stem walls, alcoves, or steps because this will affect the design. For doors and windows, you're going to want to make sure you measure to the trim as well as the rough opening of the doors and windows. The rough opening is just as it sounds. It's the rough opening of a door and window, which includes the width and height of the opening. For other objects that are going to be in your garage like sinks, garbage cans, electric car chargers, electrical panels, etc., Make sure you measure to the object, the width of the object, as well as the height of the object. You'll also want to denote this on your rough schematic so you know what you're looking at. Here, you can see some rough schematics that we've received from clients in the past. The way I look at it, you can never have too many details in your schematics. We really encourage that this is done accurately and that you take your time so that you maximize the effectiveness of the space and so that everything in the design works together seamlessly. And that is the best way to measure your garage. Make sure to check out our other videos where we're gonna dive deep into Swiss tracks design, cabinet design, compressed air systems, and more. If you would like the drafting room to help you with your garage design, reach out to Design at Obsessed Garage for more information.